Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting algebraic puzzle. Here we have to evaluate x power 5 plus 1 over x power 4 over x square plus 1 over x. If x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 equal to 194 given, x is positive. So let's get started by considering required expression equal to e first. So we have to calculate e. Now I will write our equation and I will add 2 to both sides. x power 4 plus 2, it will become 196, 194 plus 2. Now can we write x power 4 as x square whole square? 1 over x power 4, we can write 1 over x square whole square. And this 2 I can write. 2 times x square times 1 over x square equal to 196. Now you can see it is a square plus b square plus 2 times a b which we will write a plus b whole square. So it is a square of x square plus 1 over x square whole square is equal to 196. 196 is 14 square. Now I will take square root both sides. So I will be writing x square plus 1 over x square. This will be equal to plus and minus 14. Now x is greater than 0 means x is positive. So sum of two squares, it won't be negative. Or otherwise also, sum of two squares cannot be negative. So we can reject this minus sign. Rejected. So accepted value for RHS will be plus 14. So I will write x square plus 1 over x square, it will be equal to 14. Now again I will add 2 to both sides. So I will write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2. This will be equal to 14 plus 2 which is equal to 16. Same way I can write this is x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x. Let's write x whole square plus 1 over x whole square plus 2 times x times 1 over x, it will be equal to 16. So this is x plus 1 over x whole square. And 16 can we write 4 square? Again I will take square root both sides. So x plus 1 over x, we can write it is equal to plus and minus 4. Now x is positive, so LHS will be always positive for x greater than 0. So RHS cannot be negative. So I will reject this minus sign. So x plus 1 over x will be 4. Now we have to calculate this expression. Let me write here. x plus 1 over x equal to 4. Now I will add 2 again. So I will be writing here x plus 1 over x plus 2 equal to 4 plus 2. Now can we write x as root x whole square? 1 over x as 1 over root x whole square. So here I will write 2 times root x times 1 over root x equal to 6. So LHS will give us root x plus 1 over root x whole square. And RHS is 6. Consider square root both sides. So I can write a square root x plus 1 over square root x. This value will be equal to plus minus square root 6. If x is positive, of course, root x will be positive. 
so left hand side is again positive so right hand side won't be negative i will reject this minus sign conclusion is root x plus 1 over root x is root 6 root x plus 1 over root x is root 6 now the turn of this expression so what i will do here i will consider e here let me write e equal to x power 5 i will be writing x power 5 as x power 4 times root x times root x root x times root x is x multiplied with x power 4 so x power 5 plus 1 over x power 4 divided by I will write x square as x times root x times root x plus 1 over x. Now I will take root x common from numerator and denominator. See what will come out. Root x is common. Then in bracket I will be writing x power 4 root x plus 1 over x power 4 root x. Denominator we can write root x is common then x root x plus 1 over x root x. So ultimately we will cancel these two values and we have to calculate our expression e equal to x power 4 root x plus 1 over x power 4 root x divided by x root x plus 1 over x root x. So we have root x plus 1 over root x ready, root 6 it is. Now we have to consider cubing both sides. So let me write here root x plus 1 over root x whole cube. So I will write root 6 whole cube. Now a plus b whole cube formula. a cube, so I will write root x cube plus b cube, so 1 over root x cube plus 3ab. So I will multiply with 1 over root x. In bracket we have to write root x plus 1 over root x as per formula. Right side it will be root 6 times root 6 times root 6. So 6 root 6. Now root 6 will be over. Now I will write root x cube. So we can write it as x root x plus x root x plus 3 times root 6 equal to 6 root 6. Now you can see our denominator is ready. Denominator will be 6 root 6 minus 3 root 6. So let me write here. So I will write x root x plus 1 over x root x equal to 6 root 6 minus 3 root 6. So 3 root 6. And this is our denominator. Let me write here d. So I will write here this is n and this is d. So d we have calculated. Now the turn of numerator. So I will write x root let me write here root x plus 1 over root x equal to root 6 now i will write what we have calculated the last equation x root x plus 1 over x root x equal to 3 root 6 now i will consider cubing once again so we will get our numerator also See how it will be power 3, power 3. Now I will write x root x whole cube plus 1 over x root x whole cube plus 3 times 3 root 6 equal to 3 cube is 27, root 6 cube is 6 root 6. So it will give us 162. 
root 6. Now you can see x cube root x times root x times root x. So it will give us x power 4 root x. Same way x power 4 root x here also plus 9 root 6 equal to 162 root 6. So I can write my denominator is x power 4 root x. No, it will be our numerator. So I will write numerator is x power 4 root x plus 1 over x power 4 root x. This will be equal to 162 root 6 minus 9 root 6, which will be equal to 153 root 6. Now let us calculate our required expression. I will write E equal to n over d. n is written here 153 root 6 and denominator was 3 root 6. So now root 6 root 6 will be over. It will give us 51. So our final answer it is 51. Thank you so much watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.